Mozambique has in many ways become the face of the fight against Guantanamo Bay. It was here he spent more than two years held without charge by the US at its base in Cuba. A decade on, he is back in custody, again without charge and under different circumstances, arrested on Tuesday by British police officers in the city of Birmingham. They suspect he travelled to Syria to what officers describe as a terrorist training camp and that he may have been involved in the facilitation of terrorism. Three others, including one woman, were also detained. All four people are currently in custody and the houses are subject to search by specialist forensic uh, officers. I just want to stress that this was a pre-planned investigation and there is no immediate threat to public safety. Mozambique was stopped at London's Heathrow Airport at the end of last year as he flew in from South Africa where he said he'd been paying his respects to Nelson Mandela. His passport was confiscated with border officials saying it was not in the public interest to let him travel internationally. That he went to Syria is not disputed. He says he visited back in 2012 on a humanitarian mission to Aleppo. A dark page in the modern history of humanity. He has spent the nine years since he was freed campaigning for detainees who have been held, appearing on TV stations in the UK and beyond, including here on Al Jazeera. He's become a voice to represent those who say they were tortured, intimidated, threatened with death during their incarceration. Police haven't revealed yet if his arrest is linked to that 2012 visit to Syria or to another he may have made nor have they said how he is linked to the three other people arrested. And they insist that they revealed his name simply because of the media interest, not as any implication of guilt. Phil Lavelle, Al Jazeera.